Hello my dears and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to talk about hiring kalimbas and when I mean hiring kalimbas I don't necessarily mean higher in price. Some of them are quite expensive but other ones are just going to be a better sound quality. Um, before I get into this video I just want to say that I'm kind of upset with the kalimba community and when I say that I don't mean all creators I just mean some that are kind of making it difficult uh, for the community. Uh, one of the big things that I see going on in the community is there's a lot of creators that are playing um, with different kalimbas and the viewers are asking, you know, what kalimba are you using? Uh, what are the tabs to the song that you just played? And these creators will heart the comments uh, they'll like the comments, but they won't get back with their viewers. And it's really upsetting because they're acknowledging that these people are asking them questions, but they won't answer them. And I just don't understand why they wouldn't want to tell them what they're using. And the only reason that I can think that they wouldn't want to be honest and or transparent and say what they're using is because they're afraid that they're going to get the same kalimba that they're playing and then they're going to make videos and then they're not going to watch their videos anymore and that's just not the case because people watch your videos because they like you and that's all it comes down to there are millions of other channels where people play guitar people play ukulele and there's hundreds of people who are doing that same song that same tutorial and people still watch their videos because they're watching them for them. You know, it has nothing to do with what instrument they're using. And it has nothing to do um, with, you know, the quality and all that. And that's what I try to stress. And I also want to stress too that it doesn't matter if you don't have the best kalimba. It doesn't matter if you don't have the best setup. All it's about is playing music. That's it. And people will watch you if they like you. And that's all it comes down to. But coming back to the situation, it's upsetting because not only am I creating videos, but I'm a viewer myself. And I want to play kalimba. I want to be good at it. And I want kalimba to be well known. And when people aren't being transparent, and not letting people know how to play or what instrument to get. This makes more frustration for people not wanting to play kalimba. You're not going to play something that you have no information about. And that's the thing. There's not a lot of information in the U.S. about kalimba. So there's not a lot of people playing. And I know there is some language barriers uh, and everything. But I noticed that these creators do speak pretty good English. Um, with other conversations and they're just not getting back with these people and maybe there's another reason that I'm not thinking about but it's not going to hurt you to say what instrument you're using or where you bought it it's just not going to so moving forward in the video uh, the first kalimba I want to talk about is the chromatic kalimba this is a awesome kalimba it has tines in the front and tines in the back and uh, this lets you play a full song, full bodied. Uh, so it's really great. Um, and also to this kalimba that's in the photo also has a electric pickup. So you would be able to put it in amp. A couple creators have this kalimba and they told me that they bought it from Kalimba Magic. So I went there. Uh, they're not selling any right now, but I'm still gonna put the link down below because they might get them back in stock later, who knows? All right, so the next kalimba I want to talk about is Hugh Tracy. Just Hugh Tracy alone. Uh, these ones are not chromatic. Um, these kalimbas are expensive in price. Uh, the first one is $136. The second one, $220. The third one, $230. So these are expensive, but they are made out of high quality wood. Uh, the tines are supposed to be very good. They're supposed to have good resonating high notes. Uh, you'll notice the cheaper you go in uh, kalimba 
prices, the cheaper the quality goes for the higher notes. So these do have good high notes. I've read their reviews. Um, also too, if um, I'm going to post some videos down below of people playing this brand of kalimba. And they just have a very bold sound. It's a, a very good sounding kalimba. I really recommend these. Um, if you can't afford it, of course. It doesn't matter what you play. But I'm saying that these are really good sounding kalimbas. Um, and these are for sale right now. I took a screenshot of what's in their store right now. Um, they are not sponsoring me to do this video. I just seen people play these and they do have a really good sound and I wish I would have known about them when I posted my first video because they definitely are a good kalimba to get. Um, also too, Kalimba Magic has their own kalimba brand um, and this one is kind of more affordable. And I'll also see if I can find a video of somebody playing this one. But this one has a good sound also. And it's more of an affordable price. Um, something else I noticed about these kalimbas compared to the more popular brands is that their tines are a lot wider. And they're more spaced apart. Which I think makes it easier to play. Because I know on the Donner I purchased, uh, the tines are very close together. And when you're playing faster paced songs, you know, sometimes your nail will get caught on another time. And because these times are so wide, I think it gives you an easier playing surface. But I've got a couple more to go through that you might be interested in as well. So this is April Yang's Kalimba. And I just can't quit stop smiling when I see this because April Yang was... Um, she inspired me to play kalimba. She was the first video I seen on YouTube and she had a friend from Africa who showed her um, her kalimba and then ever since she saw her friend's kalimba she became obsessed and she learned how to play it and uh, she's big on YouTube, has a lot of fans and then she decided to make her own kalimba and I believe that she is partnered with Gecko. But I believe this kalimba is just hers. It's not partnered with anybody else. But she has other ones that are partnered with Gecko. So she definitely knows what a good sounding kalimba should sound like. Also too, when you go to her AliExpress store, which I'm going to link down below, she has a video of her playing this specific kalimba. So you know what you're getting. And she also has very good reviews. So it's another one I would definitely recommend. Um, and she's not sponsoring me either. I just, I'm a big fan. I really like her. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I apologize, I'm still sick. Um, so please, you know, check this out. See if you like it. Um, I'm very proud of her and I'm just so happy that she got to do what she loves and make kalimbas. Now, I've talked about Gecko in the past, but I think this is a good Gecko to go with if you want electric pickup. It is um, a little pricey uh, than a normal Gecko would be with no pickup, but you're getting the hard case, you're getting the hammer, you're getting the stickers, you're getting the cord, you're getting everything with it. So I really think that it is worth it. And all I did to find this is I just looked up online um, Gecko Kalimba with electric pickup and this is what came up um, <clears throat> gecko is a well-known brand name uh, they do have issues with the times I've heard but there's a lot of people that play gecko and they don't seem to have any problems so I wouldn't let that steer you away all right now this last one I had the most trouble with and again, this comes back to the transparency thing. There is a YouTuber that plays this and has wonderful videos, wonderful high quality videos. And this instrument sounds insane. It sounds awesome. I'd say it sounds the same or better than the Hugh Tracy's. And so I actually found this kalimba by looking through the 
sound hole in one of the videos and looking up the model number to find it. Well, I found it but I can't find anywhere to purchase it. And if I could find it, I might, if it's not too expensive, try to purchase it because I love the way this one sounded. Um, they also make ukuleles and guitars too. Um, so I guess it's a really known brand. Um, but as you can see, the only website I found wasn't in English and there was no place to buy that I could tell. So if anybody um, is familiar with this brand and knows where to buy this brand, let us know in the comments um, because it, it sounds really nice. It's a good looking instrument. It's definitely something um, that I would want in my collection and many other kalimba players would want. Um, so what I would like a uh, take away from this video is, is that hopefully this gives you more options. I wish I would have known about these before I made my video of what kalimba to buy. But again, it comes back to that transparency. If we just lay it all out on the table, you know, that's going to give more people options, but it's also going to make Kalimba more popular and more people will play and it'll make things more accessible. And uh, I just hope that this video is helpful for people who are looking to play and want a better quality sound. And there's nothing wrong with the cheaper end Kalimba. I say there's a lot of them that aren't getting as much um, praise as they should. There's a lot of good Kalimba brands out there that are not expensive, um, but these are just some other options. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until our next video, bye.